What if your home was designed to take you on a journey, except the journey was one that you designed yourself? And this is starting to sound like a Baldur's Gate trailer. Well, if a house was designed to do this, what kind of features would it have or lack? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna take a look at here in this project, conveniently titled Walking in Circles by the architects called Smart Architecture. So sit down and relax as we take a journey, experiencing a journey of a house that has a journey, like some cryptic inception type architecture video. Now, I think the best way to start this is with the floor plan, because this house does something that many houses don't do, and that is to create a long walking path for you to get to the entrance of the house. So when you park here, your car goes right here, assuming, or maybe a bicycle, and then you have to leave that there to walk all the way around to number three, which is the entrance of the house. Now, if this was just your average home, this would be completely ridiculous because why on earth would you want to walk around the whole entire house to get to the front door? I mean, it's the first thing that's taught in architecture, avoid circulation. But when you're trying to create a journey, an experience, then you have to do things like this. Now, along this long path to the entrance of your house, you're gonna find interesting moments like this, interesting moments that also change because the main focal point here is the shadows and the wind that you're feeling as you're walking through this space. Different moments of the day are gonna have different shadow patterns all around the floor of this project, and it's just gonna be a different experience each time. Not to mention, with the changes of the season, there's gonna be more changes to the types of shadows that you see here. Typically, when we see a space like this, we like to frame something. We like to put a window, or we like to put an interesting detail at the end. Something to have a sort of interest as you're walking toward the end of this corridor. But that doesn't exist here. There's no window to the landscape outside of your house no because the whole point is your own journey in this experience we don't care about what's happening on the outside we want you to contemplate on what you're doing right now at this moment in time hopefully you've left your phone in the room you'll also find spaces like these which are very modest and they only have little windows into small other moments within the home but again there's no grand gesture showing you anything else and you'll see hidden away is a couple seats no major designer furniture just a couple chairs that hey you want to take a small break here and think about what you've thought the whole time in this house here you go here's a couple chairs Funny enough, when you are sitting down and you decide to leave, this is the view and you'll almost see like the house itself is blocking your view from the landscape that's happening behind it with this wall over here. It's kind of like telling you like, hey man, forget about what's out there. Think about what you're doing. Now there are parts in the home that actually have a view, but as you can see, the view, although it's extremely beautiful, it's not highlighting anything specific. You can't really see much except for some trees and some mountains in the distance. So again, it's all about your meditation, your contemplation of what you see and what you, your thoughts are. Now, honestly, this has to be one of the most beautiful gestures in this home. You have two bodies of water. Inside you have a tub and outside you have a secondary tub. And whether you're inside or outside in this space, it's just a tremendous feeling of tranquility and peace that you must feel being here. There's no exposed structure. The house is not trying to show you anything interesting that it is doing. It's just framing the sky for you, letting natural light come in, very peaceful, and some contrast of vegetation behind. You're not gonna find any TVs in the bedroom. You're not gonna find anywhere where you can mount a television, so don't even think about that. Your views are actually gonna be into the architecture itself, into this courtyard. And the interesting thing about this detail is that you're not looking at a cool feature of the house. Even though it's a tremendous view, the design itself is so minimal that it just kind of highlights everything that's going on around it. It's almost like the house is trying to force you to look not at itself, but at possible moments that you had within the house. And that brings you back to the whole idea of the journey and the meditation because by you seeing this, you have nothing else to think about except how you interacted with these spaces previously and what kind of thoughts you had on your journey previously as you interacted with those spaces. This is designed literally to get you walking in circles around the project, thinking about 
your life, thinking about your own journey, creating your own journey. The interesting thing is that the architecture doesn't highlight anything, it doesn't frame anything, it doesn't become a focal point. It actually serves as a backdrop to whatever experiences you're going through, and it's completely beautiful. The big question is, could this work as a primary home, or is it just a secondary home for a rich person that has a lot going on in their life? I don't know, I'll let you guys decide that in the comments. You guys take the heat. Leave me out of it.